Hi everybody, it's Heather. We're gonna do a jewelry bag haul that I got this past weekend. Just getting the channel uploaded right now. Oh, Rake and Profit just went live, it says on my phone. He's a good reseller thrifter. Let's see. Pull up the video. Here we go. Oh, that's for 11.10. What time is it? 11.16. Okay. Turn down this volume. Okay, everything's rocking and rolling. <clears throat> good morning, good morning. It's Tuesday, I think, right? Tuesday, Monday is over. So we're going to do a jewelry bag haul, and I have it here. Um, I'm wearing a necklace, and then I did get another bag of just some other items that it does actually have jewelry in it. I have another jewelry bag. Yay! I forgot when I went back the second time. Um, that I got more jewelry, so that's mainly why I went back was to get some more cool jewelry and just see what else was there. Um, quick, real quick, I'm going to take some of this apple cider vinegar um, raw unfiltered. Everybody has videos on this on YouTube, so I'm going to do a tablespoon real quick because I hear it gives you energy. So, yeah, I'm really slacking this morning. So we're going to take some vinegar, like it tastes like vinegar, not apples, okay? But um, I have done so much research on YouTube. Love YouTube. Love it. Make the screen bigger. Um, you can like literally rub this on your teeth to make them whiter because obviously I need my teeth whiter. You can rinse your hair with this and it's supposed to um, balance out the pH or something like that is what they were saying um, in your hair. You don't do it every day, but maybe, I don't know. That's, I still... I'm um, not sure how often you're supposed to rinse your hair yet, but on this uh, drinking it, you can do one tablespoon, and I knew I should have got a napkin, right? I'm making a huge mess, you guys. That is, like, terrible. It's like eating Long John Silvers with the vinegar on the fish, but without the fish. <coughs> um, yeah, anyways, so you can drink this once a day. And it's supposed to be really healthy for you. Ugh, it's terrible. Most people mix it with water. I assume you could probably put some apple juice in it, but I obviously didn't do that. <clears throat> okay, y'all ready for a jewelry bag haul? Sorry, I had to clean this vinegar off my dang table here so we don't smell like vinegar all day. Okay, let's get into the haul. So I'll take this off. Um, it's kind of a little bit tarnished, but it's it's super old. So it just says love. And then in the middle, it has the tiniest little diamond. So I'm not sure if the diamond is real or not. There's some engravings on like the little locket part, but you can't hardly read it. I was going to grab my magnifying glass, but it's outside. So in the garage, DEC, something looks like magic or something. So that's the first item. Um, so on this jewelry bag, ooh, look, I also got a purse, you guys. Too bad there wasn't anything better than guess. But so for the total, I got this bag, um, this purse for $6, and then I know my four-year-old, because we went out to eat after I had my garage sale this weekend. I'm a little burnt, can you tell? Um, I had a garage sale. Hey, uh, Branson Hill 100, thanks for coming by. Casey Lakeman, thanks. Um, so I had two garage sales. Um, I made probably around, I think my husband said 700, but that's because he threw in his grill, okay? And then we also had a deep freezer that's been sitting in my garage for a couple years because we got a big fridge in our garage and then we have a fridge in our house. So we have not been using our deep freezer. I was just like, let's just get rid of it. So I sold it for 50 and I think I bought it for my neighbor for like 25 bucks years ago. Um, we <laughs> Stupid story, right? Um, so my neighbor 
his dad had, that's not stupid, but his dad had passed away. I loved his dad. Well, he was selling everything in his dad's place. He needed some cash. And he didn't want to sell the deep freezer for $25, but uh, we made an agreement. I said, if you don't want to sell the deep freezer, I'll buy it for you from you for 25 bucks. When you find a place or you move and you want it back, I'll give you one year to pay me back my money and you can have your deep freezer back. And he never came up with the money to pay me for the deep freezer. Um, anyway, so I sold that. That's why it sounds like I made a little bit more than normal because I just had a garage sale like a month or two ago. So there's no way I'd already have $700 worth of stuff except for, again, I did go through our house and declutter. It doesn't look like it in my background, does it? Um, so I got this cute coach purse. It's real. I mean, coach, guess. It's real. It's vintage. Um, it's really old. This house that I went to, it was an estate sale, but the guy said he's been doing the estate sale for like two weeks already. So everything was pretty picked through. Um, so the necklace was the first item. And then we'll just show you this little bag. There's this little bag um, and there's something in here that I think is really cool. Um, and it's these little tiny, tiny ruby red earrings. And I love tiny, like I have some studs on that my hubby got me, my birthstone, Peridot. Uh, they're from James Avery. I've never had earrings from James Avery, but those are until those, I should say. Um, these are cute. They don't have the matching backs, but I think they are gold because um, they're not tarnished or anything and they look prettier in person. Um, but I can definitely tell they're not like a cheap Walmart earrings or Walmart sells 14 K too, but um, I do believe they are 14 carats. So I got those. So again, $6 was my total. Uh, I was saying I'm all over the place, right? Um, my four-year-old got this really cute vintage train. It's metal. And then it had like a, what do you call it? A carousel on the back or a carriage or, um, a cart in the back that it pulled. And then my 10-year-old got like some crappy flashlight that the guy tried to sell it to him for a dollar. And I was like, Tucker, you can buy that brand new and it's not even LED, but he just loved the flashlight. So he got that. So these are some cheap earrings that will just go like in a garage sale for 50 cents or a dollar. Um, but they came inside with those little cute ruby red earrings. Okay, so this is a broken piece. It's not that important. But when I picked up this one, I figured it was a choker. And it actually can clasp on. So if you'll notice, one of them needs to be fixed. And luckily I can fix it because... I grabbed the other section. So I guess this was a, a long necklace. I don't know. But this one here has the actual hook. It's a really cheap necklace, but it is vintage. Um, and the pearls are all together in good shape. Um, so I'm thinking about probably taking one of these hooks off and just combining it right there to make this look like a cute vintage choker. I don't know. What do y'all think? Um, so yeah, good deal. I think so. And then, like I said, I went back the next day and I spent 20 bucks. I wrote a check. And so he took my check on that. I forgot my garage sale money on my fridge. It was to deposit in the bank to help pay our escrow mortgage. Um, so I did get that. That's just, I'm saving the best for last, right? Okay. So I thought that this was okay. Um, well, actually, you have to put it on reverse-wise. A lot of jewelry they're selling now for, like, the college girls and just current style, they're doing these wraparound necklaces, but most of them are, like, leather um, or whatever. So this was cute. You can tell it's, you know, the old vintage style. I think this is the way you wear it. I don't know. Don't ask me. Or you can try to ask me, but I don't know. Um, so I just think this is really pretty. It's pearls, kind of like. I doubt they're real, but it's not broke or anything. I love how it's a tassel end on both sides. So there's the second necklace. So this one is sterling silver. Um, and I thought this was cool. I debated on getting this, but I don't know. Silver is worth something. So, and it's got a history to it. 
Um, so it has sterling silver on the bracelet. It's really tarnished, as you can see. Um, but it has the lady that passed away's grandchildren on here. So it has their faces. And on the back of the faces, it says sterling silver. And then this one right here is cute because it's got like this bubble or whatever. And then it's got this little kid in the picture. So, yeah. Um, so, on the, yeah, on the back of the clasp here, it says the word sterling. And... What does it say? Yeah, on the the little kids' faces on this one, and I'll read you the kids' names. It's Debbie, Donna, Geneva, and Robert. They were born in 54, 46, and 65, and 58. So they might have her grandchildren on there too. I don't know. Um, but it says Sterling Auto Made. Um, not on all of them. One of them says Sterling Only. And then this one says Sterling, P&B Sterling. I don't know. I guess it's a company. And what does this say? Automade, Sterling Automade. So let me know if you know anything about silver. What the heck is the difference? Automade and then just Sterling. Oh, and this one has, it doesn't even say Sterling. It has some initials. Um, Keiko S-T-E for Sterling, I guess. I don't know. So there's a sterling silver bracelet that I got. Hopefully that's worth the $6, right? <clears throat> oh, yeah. It definitely was. Um, I have two rings, and I'm pretty sure that they're sterling silver. I'll show you the two necklaces. So this one's um, just a vintage purple two-tone. It's got two different purple colors. Um, and it's got this huge... I think these are glass. They don't... Well, this one, I don't know. They're like a thick plastic, but they kind of feel glass, I guess, because they're heavy. They're not really, really cheap. Um, so I went ahead and got that. I don't know if it's worth anything, but it's like the clip-on earrings. It clips in, so you can put it on like that. And I don't know if y'all saw it, but it's got this cool old vintage styling around the pendant whatever you want to call that not sure if that's even called a pendant but we're gonna call it a pendant today um okay so this one again is not going to be worth anything i might have a garage sale and some little lady or kid will pick it up for a dollar or two um but this is a three what do you call it a tier three what i call that one two two tone but this is a three tier um clasped necklace as well. They're heavy plastic balls, I'd assume. Um, there's some glass beads in between it. Um, so yeah, nothing special there. And again, I did get this little love necklace. It's super cute. Um, let me put all that back. <clears throat> Hi, sorry love, unicorn, okay? I have got to try that vinegar. Yeah, I've been researching it. It is so popular that you could find a million and one YouTube videos on drinking the apple cider vinegar. Um, let me do just tell you, Branson, if you haven't. Well, I put it somewhere. But you have to get the raw, um, unfiltered, and then at the bottom also it says with mother. Um, make sure you get the apple cider vinegar that does say with mother because it's something that's in it that's supposed to be helpful. So as you all know, I've been dealing with some hair and scalp issue and hair loss. Um, so I was totally all for the apple cider vinegar and the benefits of balancing out the pH in your hair and your scalp and it just being shinier and healthier, whatever. Um, so the last two items I'm super excited about, they, um, I would say these are worth more than the $6, the total that I paid for the whole bag, the train and everything. And I'm kind of excited. This one fits my right hand ringer, ringer finger, ring finger. What is that? Some purple ink. Sure is for my pen right here. Um, okay. So, let's see, it has an engraving, uh, 14K. It's like a 
what do you call it the white gold or something so this is this glass yeah I'm sure it is this purple glass stone and then it's a 14 karat gold um, it's got this silver what do you call it going around it effect let me put it on for you guys maybe that'll pick up so again I'm super happy that it fits my ring finger it is tarnished it needs to be cleaned um, but I love how small the band is it won't hurt between your fingers you ever had somebody grab your hand and squeeze it and the freaking ring like my wedding ring if you grab my hand and squeeze it oh my god it's so painful I think my husband's done it before like we're playing around or something it's like dude that hurts stop okay so the last one is is I honestly I'm surprised I only know this is like a turquoise kind of stone but it's not blue green so it's orange is it still considered turquoise um, but this is something like my mom would wear but she wears turquoise but she would have a lot of this kind of fancy jewelry she still has some they're not as big um, but this is a sterling silver um, let's just call it orange turquoise I don't know that is very interesting and it bothers me I need to know what this is called anybody what are your names so we have a troll um, we're gonna ignore him hey pickers thanks for coming in and Sam J says the name is Izzy. Well, some people call me Vanessa too. All right, welcome Vanessa. I am sleepy, she says. Okay. Um, so yeah, I definitely think that the two rings alone paid for my six dollar trip. Um, quick thing on that, my we, again we were leaving um, a little old steakhouse, and my husband was like, "Oh look, Heather, six at night, guys, literally." like six at night since this, it was an estate sale going on for like a whole month this lady had so much stuff and there's still a bunch of stuff in this house I'm talking vintage fabrics um, all the vintage sewing tools you could ever want there's tons of blankets I should probably be looking up vintage blankets right now to see and go buy some more stuff from this guy um, but yeah so my husband's like, oh, look, Heather, there's a, a garage sale. And so we get there, and it's an estate sale that they're doing, like I said, for a whole month. And so I'm super happy my hubby took me. I would have never seen it because it's on the other side of my town. And um, I don't really go over there for too much. So anyways, let's move along. So this entire bag, I spent about an hour in this house. It was like a three-bedroom house, right? Um and I just I saw this bag hanging up and it was there the day before it's empty so I'm like well, I'm just gonna grab this bag and fill up what I want and um, pay for it see what he wants I'm gonna show you guys the most exciting thing really not because there's some more exciting things too um, let me hang up this bag again so I filled up this bag I wrote the guy a $20 check he took out a huge bag I'm talking like yeah like this big maybe a little bit bigger wider a little bit the gallon size of buttons I mean this bag was full of buttons do I have a use for buttons no do I sew on buttons no but I'm pretty sure that certain buttons do sell on eBay and if you have some in bulk someone's gonna do a craft with them so I could have sold them either on eBay or at a garage sale so I can't close the lid because I put glass at the bottom of this but have you guys ever seen this my stepdad's uh, grandma had one of these on her sink and what it is is you put your dishwashing scrubber inside there and the reason why I kind of wanted it and I hope I'll use it and not get tired of it sitting on my counter but the reason why I want it is because your kitchen counter is so dirty like, I don't know if anybody's ever seen the tests that people have done on your kitchen sink. It's apparently dirtier than your toilet, I think. I guess. That's what they say. What I could believe it because I wash my hands in my kitchen sink. I do. Um, and a lot of other things, too. I'm not going to go into detail because that's not what this is about. But anyways, it's brand new. It came out of the box, and he's just so cute. I kind of want to look up and see if they go for anything on eBay, but... There's probably a lot of them, so they probably don't go for much. 
it looks like there's a dollar Rama two dollar sticker on here. Um, so I've never seen this out, or I probably would have bought this years ago for myself. Um, but I think it was more popular back in the day. So he's got some cute big old bulging eyes. So there's some stuff in here, and let me just take out the sponge. You can I will I replace my sponges a lot. Um, yeah. So there was a a couple wooden like boxes on this lady's wall. She collected miniature figurines, and I have some other miniature figurines I got at the Goodwill. Heads up, I did go to Goodwill yesterday, luckily really late, so I didn't get to stay long. So I am going to do a Goodwill haul today. If I have enough time, got to take my brother's girlfriend to the doctor at like 2.45. It's only 11.40, right? We have time, right? We'll do that in another live haul. Um, okay, so this is going to be crazy, you guys. I could probably sit here for 15 minutes just getting them all out to show you. Um, <clears throat> This isn't what I was going to show you, but here's three in here. There's miniature frogs. Frogs. They're turtles. Hello. A glass turtle. Super cute. I love it. I love reptiles. I love animals. There's another one. He's a flat turtle. I'm not sure their names. And then here's one just lounging out with his hand on his head on his hand, whatever you want to call it. Three of those. There might be some in the bottom of the bag if they fell out. Is there a comment? Oh, Pickers, there you are. Um, hey, Pickers, uh, if you're still here, um, I commented, did you get the uh, necklace that I mailed out to you? Let me know. Hopefully it's arrived by now. I hope so. Okay, <clears throat> so what I was excited to find in the wooden shelves on the wall was a million miniature perfume bottles. Okay, some of you may not get this, but I get it. I love miniature figurines too, and even my kids love miniature. Yes, you got it. Cool, good. I'm so happy you got it. <clears throat> um, anyways, there's, I mean, I got like probably 20 to 30 miniature vintage figurine bottles. This one says beautiful on it. It is empty, but some of them do have perfume. So there's one. These are going to be everywhere. Um, this says Knowing Parfume Estee Lauder. There's one there. Here's a purple one, and it does have some perfume in there. Um, I'm not going to read them all off. They might take Elizabeth. Does it, it's not Arden, is it? Elizabeth Taylor? Yeah, Elizabeth Taylor's. Whatever. Um, cute little purple bottles. Love it. I'm going to put these, well, you know what, I'm just going to wear them because they're so cool. Yeah, yeah I know that's gay, right? I'm going to wear my new rings that need to be cleaned. Bling, bling. Um, and we're, oh, there's some more in here. Let's, okay. Miss Worth, these are all glass, shall I mention. These are cute, too. I'm about to show you another animal. Okay, so I have a lot of these. These cute little perfume bottles. I mean, they're freaking gorgeous. I love them. Even if they don't go for anything on eBay, I'm going to sell these bad boys. I mean, I don't know. Even if I got rid of them for like two or three bucks, just a couple of them, I'll bag them up in different bags. I'll be fine with that, but... I took a gander without looking it up on eBay um, just because I just love them. I really absolutely love them. And I know hopefully that somebody else will. Um, hopefully they'll they'll be worth something on eBay. Um, so this says Calandre Paco Rabanne. Me, fancy, right? Can you see? Looks like it's wrote in Chinese, but it's not. Yeah, anyways, moving along, moving along, there is a bunch. Okay, <clears throat> so Entendu Royal Luxury Perfumes, it says Paris, and again, these are all miniature. They're about one and a half inches tall to two inches, so they're all mini perfume bottles. So freaking cute, and like I said, I have 20 of them or something. 
a Blanc France, I don't know, cute little bottle. There's a bunch of those with the rigids. Croyant Charles V. Paris. This is almost full. Cute. They all stink, by the way. Or maybe there's a pretty one in there. I don't know. I haven't opened them all. I've opened mostly just the dry ones and smelt the bottle. So um, then I got this one because it was different, of course. I think I grabbed all of them. Um, and the shelf was kind of hiding. So hopefully people, I don't think anyone had even gone through it. This says white shoulders. Um, most of these are made in New York. I've seen that quite often. Um, here's a clear one with a white linen perfume, Estee Lauder. Ooh, it smells like old people. Old people. Hmm. For Sartre, Charles V. Paris. This looks like a duplicate. Empty. Um, Cordon d'Or, Charles Paris again. This one's like dried up. Ooh, is it thick? Oh yeah, it's like a caramel syrup dried up perfume. Okay, okay. There was a lot of vintage buttons that went for over seven hundred dollars. I bet there was. I bet he's still got my bag of buttons at his house too. I wonder if he's doing that. I don't want to go back. I don't need to spend any money. I need to make some money, okay? Um I wonder if he's doing it during the weekdays or if he's just doing it during the weekend. I'm not sure. So, yeah, and like I said, he said he's been doing that sale for like two weeks already. And so I guess maybe this was the third week, and he, he could still sit out there for another week or two. And he knows the value of certain stuff because he's older. And so he's charging some things an arm and a leg. Cheval Blue, Charles V. Paris. So what are you saying, Casey Lakeman, that my perfume bottles aren't worth anything? <laughs> I'm joking. Uh, this one has a silver lid. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, look, are these exactly alike? Anybody know why she got these or how you got them? Did you get, are these samples? I pick a full, just pick a full size cologne. Yes, yes. Well, I just like the bottles. Um... My sister's mother-in-law, not my sister's mother-in-law, my sister's husband's grandma, so not the mother-in-law, the mom of the mother-in-law. Confusing, right? Yeah. Um, she is like, I don't know, I think she's in her 90s, but she gets around great. She even goes to the Goodwill bins, y'all. Seriously, she's like 90 years old, and she goes to the Goodwill pound store, the bins, the outlet, whatever you want to call it. Um she was in the paper years ago. She's made like porcelain Elvis dolls. She was in the local paper here many, many years ago. Um, but she, I guess, has a huge hobby for making the wood Barbie doll houses. Um, so she literally makes them all the time. If you go into a certain room of her house, there's all these Barbie houses with, I'm talking wooden furniture, plastic furniture, it's got the sink, the dishes, the lamp, the table, the couch, everything you could want. Um, and so I, when I think of this, I think of that too. So I don't know. People just like many things. We're going to set my scoring pad holder. I was going to say porte a punch, but that's another foreign language. Uh, earth, earthenware. I freaking love this. I hope he never breaks because I have boys and they're really rough. I love it. Okay. Um, let's just put all these little mini perfume bottles into the jewelry bag. And I'll grab the other jewelry bag and do that one first since the title of my video is um, the jewelry bag haul. But I had to show you all those little mini perfume bottles. And, of course, the mini turtles that are super cute, too. And I feel like my hands are really dirty because the house was, as I said, an estate sale. And it was very dirty and dusty in there. Okay, so let's find the jewelry bag. But I think there's jewelry that I dropped on the inside the bag, too. I remember there is one or two. 
Just got a dress worth $350 used. Knew they are around $900. What brand? Um, okay, so let's see. Ha ha, old people. In Playboy Superman. Okay. And then they go for $75, 225 depending on how many. The buttons? Damn it. I need to go back, don't I? I'll have to see what kind of buttons. These all, the buttons in that bag... Oh, this is a bummer. This is tangled. The buttons in the bag that I put back that he took out, I didn't even know how much he wanted to ask for them. He just took them out and said, you know, what I could have in my bag for 20 bucks. And he took out the buttons and something else. I can't remember what it was. Who cares, right? Um, now I forgot what I was saying. Yeah. Anyways, it uh, cost me 81 cents. That's a score. Big time score. Good job. Um, awesome. Ooh, those are super cute. I might have to keep these. Might have to keep them. Um, <clears throat> the buttons in the bag were mostly just like dark brown or black. They didn't seem like they were glass or anything special, but there were so many of them that there could have been some something um, good in that bag of buttons a bag of buttons right okay so first off as most of you may know or if you see my title I am a licensed realtor here in Texas um, so I think that pearls are will be good a good like de decorating thing um, like even in the bathroom put it on a tray just anything really nowadays you can decorate pearls so much so there's two strands of pearls um, here and I'm pretty sure they're not real but we'll test out this one I can tell they're not real but I think you can rub pearls against your teeth is it pearls yeah these are not real if you rub it on your tooth it's like really gritty and like scratches your tooth so that I believe is one way to tell if they're real pearls but I didn't care I wanted these for decoration and I know this little strand is not going to be um, real at all so I'll just wear some of those right um so that was in the bag again for twenty dollars I got them um oh what a bummer I don't see okay so I had showed you guys a necklace these are some matching earrings and they're clip-ons so I'm gonna put that one in this bag my nose is itching with the necklace and let's hope that the other one's in the bottom of the bag because it's not in there okay so I have no idea what this stone is, but it looked cool. I've never seen it before. It's like, I think you call this an octagon. I didn't pay attention in school much, guys. Um, <laughs> then there's some kind of cute little flower there that's like glued on. It's pretty thick, as you can see. And it does have a cheap chain on it. Um, yeah, the chain is not real gold or anything. I don't know, gold toned maybe. But I thought this was unique. I went ahead and got it. No problem. Maybe sell it for a dollar. Who cares, right? Maybe it's worth more. I don't know. I found this. It looks like a choker necklace. Oh, it has a writing on there. Oh, wow. No wonder. So when I went back to the estate sale, I tried my hardest to go digging where people hadn't already been that's where I found the buttons and that's where I found the perfume bottles like in a spot that you kind of really wouldn't see um, and so in the kitchen on the side wall there was like a key holder so it had a bunch of keys so I picked this up and I just oh that's weird look these keys have a smiley face on them can y'all see that and a hat <laughs> I've never seen that before uh, it says American Tourister. I don't know what that means. Anyways, I got this cute little thing. I think, I don't think it's anything because when I took the lid off, you can't put pills or anything in here. It's, it's just, um, you can slide a piece of paper in here, I think. But it has a naked woman and then it has the naked woman dressed in a bathing suit. So she's like a pinup lady but I can literally see her boobies and she's standing up. You guys probably won't, well, <laughs> I 
this says on here, this is really good news. This is telling me that it's gold, but it looks like brassy to me. I would have never thought this was gold, but I swear this says, where did I see it? It said 14K to 20K. Where is it? OMG, you guys are like Heather. Okay, it was around here somewhere. It was weird because it said like 15 or 10 to 20 carat. Oh, I found it. You ready? So 20 12K GF BAB. So is it 20 carat to 12 carat? Who the hell knows? Yeah, I know. Texas Gal Treasures does a lot of jewelry um, bags or stuff. Luggage keys. Oh, good job, Casey Lakeman. Thanks. Yeah, because they're tra it said Traveler, right? American Tourister. Um, but yeah, let me show you this naked lady, even though you're not going to get to see her. Um, so that's her in the, the bikini, or not bikini. She's in a full... She's in a full swimsuit, and she's facing backwards, but she has high heels on. And then here she is showing her boobies, like full-fledged boobies, and her ta-ta. Is that what y'all call it? Ta-ta? So she's naked there, and then she's not naked here. Okay. So I just thought that that was cool because she's vintage pinup girl. Um, so, yeah, I don't know what that means what carrot gold this uh, choker is. It's like super duper orange yellow, you guys. Like, does not look real. Um, okay, <clears throat> so I'm almost 100% these are real, and I can kind of tell too because it has that green corrosion on there around the gold. Um, and are those blue or black? Well, I'll be damned. There's one blue and one black, but they're identical. I swear, you guys, I mean, I know some of you don't swear, but you cannot see it in the light, but maybe you can right there. One is dark blue and one is black, but they are identical earrings, and they're super duper cute because they look, uh, one's black, and like I said, one is dark blue. I love these things. They're so cute. I would totally wear these. I think I see an engraving. Let's see. Nope, it's just where the uh, back was soldered onto the earring on that. But yeah, these I know for a fact are like real gold, whatever, 14 karat, whatever. Um, I found a penny, but it's uh, 1959 or 59, I believe. And so it's it's not a wheat penny, so it's um, probably the 100% copper. I think they're worth like three cents, but that one might be worth a little more since it's older. I'm um, not sure if I have the other earring to this pearl. Yeah, see, that's more rough, it, and it's almost glass, so I think it might be real, but there's a problem here. I don't think I have the other earring, but that's okay. So I went ahead and got this one. It's super cute. Um, it's not anything real. Um, it's just a bracelet. We'll put it on if I can get it on. I doubt I can do it all by myself in the video. It'll probably take me forever, so I won't. Um, this might be a sterling silver bar, but I don't think it is. But it's a pretty good quality little bracelet. So I got that. So again, um, as I was saying, I was trying to search in this house for areas that people had not gone. Um, <clears throat> and so, again, where the keys were hanging, I found this really old coin that's on a keychain and I mean it is tarnished to hell whatever you want to call that um I might just read something simple off of it looks like maybe Mexican money but Estados Unidos Mexicanos is what it says on one side and then 30 gramo Gramos, I don't know, cinco pesos, yeah, blah, 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 okay, and it's got some 
medieval guy, but I'm trying to think um, like Spartacus. <laughs> it's got a Spartacus guy on there, like with the helmet. I don't know what else to call it. Yeah, some people have an extra hole for their ears. Yes. So I don't know if this is worth anything. I just took a gamble on it. I didn't look it up. So, um, yeah, I know a little bit about music. I know Fender is a good brand, like one of the best brands. So I found this uh, non-chipped um, pick for a guitar. It says Fender on it, and it's medium. Someone will buy it at my garage sale. It's probably not even worth to sell um, online, but I'll definitely sell it for a dollar on my garage sale. So I picked up this spoon, and I think I have another spoon in the bag. It might have fallen out. It's got this uh, white rock on there with a with leaves, a le bunch of little leaves or whatever. Um, it's got a little bit of rust on it. All it says is Japan on there. So I went ahead and got that. I didn't care if it wasn't worth anything. They're all cool items, and if they're cool, <laughs> and if they're cool, because I'm cool, because I know what's cool. No, I'm joking. Just you know, everyone has their own styles. If I think it looks cool and someone will put it in their wooden box in their house, yeah, I'm going to get it, and I know I'll make my money back. So, Okay, kitchen items. I already have a cutting board, but this retro, I don't know the difference really between vintage and retro. They're both the same thing to me. So apologies if anyone is upset about that or whatever. Um, but I use the same two words for the same thing, vintage and retro. Um, this is definitely old school, like, I don't know, 80s or whenever. Who knows? I'm sure it doesn't have a year on it. Um, but I liked it, and it's super cool. I thought it would bring color to my kitchen. So I got it, and I, well, that sucks. It is missing a rubber foot on the bottom, so we'll just leave it the way it is. Um, but I still wanted it. And then, recently, even so for my husband, he likes cheesecake. He doesn't like birthday cake. I thought that this would be cute to store our cookies or the cakes that I make, which I have a cake pan that has a lid, but um, I figured for pies and stuff that this was super cool. It's really old and it's dirty. I need to wash it and stuff, but... And this clasp here, you can tell, is getting worn. But, hey, I went ahead and got it because I liked it. <clears throat> okay. Um, let's see. I think I've done the most exciting stuff so far, but we might find something in here good. Um. So, oh, yeah, yeah. So, since it was an older lady's house that had passed away, I found a bag of vintage swimsuits. Well, one of them's Victoria's Secret, and too bad it's so small. But it says Victoria's Secret. It's a size meat. Well, that's a medium. Um, it's really small. And I think, well, maybe it's not. This one is maybe, hell, I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's a swimsuit. Like, what is this? It's a squirt. It looks like a swimsuit to me because here's the bottom. Okay. Swimsuit or an aerobic suit or it's just lingerie. Vintage is 20 years or older. Retro is more a style. Yeah. Um, so I got that. That bottom was a medium. What's Or no, the top was a medium. Oh, yeah. See, these are extra small and the top is a medium. Most of the girls have bigger boobs nowadays anyways, right? So maybe that'll work out. I guess so. So I really took a gamble with these just for the style, Casey Lakeman, the retro style of the swimsuits. Hoping and, and just thinking, you know, that these are going to have that cool, like, pinup style possibly. This one has a name, a uh, Rosemary Reed tag. Well, hell. It's got the padding inside. It's a swimsuit, obviously. But it's got the skirt. Can y'all see that? I love that it has the padding because this girl needs some padding. Yes, I do. Um, it's really soft. And again, it's got the skirt and then it's got the swimsuit down here. 
So that's one or two, whatever. And this ugly color is coming back. These like Hawaiian flowers. I literally went to the mall yesterday to buy some uh, black flip-flops. They weren't flip-flops. They were sandals because all I have is brown. Um, and I, I went, why did I go to like, well, not Billabong, but I went to some of the like skater and college stores. <laughs> I call them college now that I'm in my 30s. Um, gosh, I can't even think of it because I don't never go. But I saw a lot of the Hawaiian flower print that it was literally in style. And that used to be typically for older people back in the day. Um, so I don't know, maybe a vintage pinup style. I went ahead and got it. I hope to list them on um, Poshmark. So I even was in one of those same uh, like skater stores, newer kids stores and I found a oh what is this called it's a spandex like um, full body suit I saw this in the store and they were selling them brand new for um, 30 35 bucks so I went ahead and got that it doesn't have a pri or a tag or anything on it but whatever what are they called anybody nobody commented on that um Here's a, a gold compact that is super, I don't know, I'm dyslexic. I don't know whether to call it vintage or retro now, Casey Lakeman. That's why I just call it both, right? Nobody's ever got upset with me about that. So we're going to have to check this out because there's something in here I've never seen. So it's this cool, what do you call that, teardrops or paisley? It's both, right? That's not what I was going to point out, though. So it's got that cool color, shimmer, whatever. It's really heavy, guys. I wouldn't be, and it's probably just like brass or something. So it's got a mirror. Hi. Hello. It's dirty. But it's got this white thing in here, and there's a net, like a um, screen, right? So we're going to pull this out together and see what, looks, what it looks like inside, because I've never seen one of these, okay? Um, oh. So just pop out. So it's just a screen cover. Does that go over the powder? Like you put the powder in there and put the screen over here and then your powder brush goes on top. Leotard, yes, thank you. Thanks, Casey Lakeman. I'm gonna make you a moderator soon. <laughs> um anyways, I don't know. This may not be worth anything, but just the history of it is cool. Went ahead and got it. So I have one blue healer left. We just put one down. One of my dogs we've had for 15 years. She's pretty old. Rest in peace, Sissy. We named him Sissy and Bud off the movie Urban Cowboy. Um, but I threw in this dog brush. I love this section here because it's it's sturdy. Um, and it just feels good on him when I rub and uh, brush him. So I went ahead and got that. It saved me two to five bucks buying a new one. Oop, yep, I found some earrings, and these, I believe, have 14 karat in them. <clears throat> okay, so I got this Tweety Bird tin. This is basically a bunch of junk, guys. And I did not look up these toys, so I'm, I mean, they may not be worth anything. Oh, look, there's a perfume bottle, and it's pink, and it has, like, a flower lid. It says Avon Cologne, five ounces. So we'll throw that with the perfume bottles over there. I know some people are obsessed with Tweety, like extremely or obsessively. So inside this tin was a bunch of vintage, uh, like McDonald's looking toys, Scooby Doo. This is 1998, it's not too old. Um, I think I scratched his face right there somewhere. Oh, you can't see it. Anyways, I'll show you the toys I got. I don't know who this guy is, but I've seen him before. And I'm not sure. They removed the tag. Um, but I did get this little guy. I don't know why. And I don't remember his name. He's on some movie or cartoon. I can't think of it. For some reason, there ended up being a handmade foot that's going in the trash. Unless somebody can tell me why I should keep this. Love, Tweety. Yeah, see? 
Um, so I'm throwing this away. Should I not? I am. Um, inside the Tweety Bird was some vintage roll caps, like the actual original box, and there's some bottle caps in there for the toy gun, you know? Oh, these are my favorite. These are the paper roll ones. They go pop, 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 and then they smell like real firecrackers, shall I say. Uh, I don't know why this ended up in there, but it's a really cheap plastic rose. If it was glass, I would keep it. That would be vintage on Etsy. Yeah, the foot or the Tweety Bird. Yeah, Tweety Bird would be vintage on Etsy. I don't know. I need to sell on Etsy, but I don't, unfortunately. Um, so there's that rose. I'm throwing that in the trash because I didn't even mean to get that. Okay. So here's another vintage swimsuit. Looks like there's one more clothing item in here, and I think it's a swimsuit. This one's kind of faded, but I still liked the idea that it was older. I don't know. It could be 90s. could be 80s. I don't know. Yes, Tweety. Okay, Pickers. Gotcha. So I went ahead and got it. It's another skirt um, swims. Oh, this one's shorts, though. So, yeah, it's a shorts swimsuit. And... Yeah, it's like from Walmart, I think. Honors, I believe. Or is that from the mall? I can't remember. It's older. It says it's a size 12, and it's cotton. Okay, this was the first one that I saw. Yeah, baby. This is my vintage swimsuit. This is the first one that I saw. So this is why I got the other ones. Because I figured they were around the same time frame. And... This right here, the stripes, is just so cool. It's coming back. It's awesome. Um, let's see where this boy was, this chick was made. Just says Sunset Beach, and it's a medium made in Mexico. Oh, yay, there's the other earring, the snap earring. Okay, and randomly, this must have came out of Tweety. It is a vintage... The Campbell's Kids uh, plate disc for toys. It says it was made in 1992 or around there, shall I say. Um, okay, two more items. This one and another one. Here's another glass perfume bottle. It's dried out. It says Spellbound by Estee Lauder. And then there's a penny. And this one was older too, but it's 87 So I paid $20 and made two cents already. Hey. And you like that? Yeah. Okay. So as you all know, I my stupid Mac wants me to connect to iCloud, and I hate the pop-up. I love diffusers where you put the oil in the water. So the first day I went there, this kind of looked broken. So when I went back on the second day, I checked out the two diffusers that she had and decided to put it together. This bad boy retails for like $40, give or take, brand new. Um, at least it does in the natural food store that I've seen. So it's that brand now that is also sold at the natural food grocery store. Um, and so it, it works. I do think it's got a little bit of water corrosion in there. So I'm not sure. Has anybody had to replace the filters or something on these? Can you? Can you? I don't know. But I did, um, their water was running, luckily, and the lights. Yeah, I don't see. It says it's from, I don't know, 2015 is the year maybe they put these out, but that doesn't mean anything. Um, I'm not sure. Maybe I could put some vinegar in it and clear out the um, corrosion from the water. Um, but I did, again, pour some water in there. I turned it on. This one changes colors just like that one. Um, and so super happy to get this. My kids are obsessed with it too. So I'll just have one in another room or something. I don't know. So now I officially have three diffusers. And now that I say that, and we're done with the haul, guys, um, basically just jibber-jabbering now, except I didn't show you the earrings here. 
And for some reason, there's this random little guy that I don't remember putting in my bag. He has carrots. He's porcelain. Made in Taiwan. Um, that, that, that one back there that's not turned on, I still have the box right there, which means I'm going to take that $20 diffuser back to Walmart and get my money back. So I just made another $20 off of this, now that I'm thinking about it. Well, that's a bummer. I need a different charger because this one just sticks straight up, which means he can't sit down. I'll have to find another adapter for this one. Anywho, or hang it off the table, <laughs> right? Like this part off the table and that part off the table, on the table, off the table, whatever. Oh, I didn't show you all the toys either. Sorry. Um, okay, let's show you the little earrings. So these look 14 karat gold for sure. Um, they're weird. They're just squares. Literally just a box. Okay. And, ooh, these, they have, um, oh, it says, what does it say? Sterling stud. These earrings, actually, I believe these are for when you first pierce your ears, I think. Because the backs are very sturdy. They don't come off unless you pull them hard. Oh, I didn't lose it. Anywho, there's those. And then there's one more earrings. And they are um, 14 karat gold. Um, the downfall on them is they don't have the original backings. But they are these tiny, I love tiny earrings. Like, I love tiny earrings, studs. Um, these are a green, like a dark green. They're not my birthstone because mine's the real light color. Um, are they for health or fragrance? Both, both, Casey Lakeman. The diffusers, um, <clears throat> so I have a humidifier because my four-year-old's old enough now, but when he was smaller, he'd get sick, and the doctor always says, you need a humidifier, blah, blah, blah. So I have a big uh, humidifier, <clears throat> and those are even proven to um, keep the life, longevity of your furniture in your home. Um, it humidifies the air for your skin, um, and with these vaporizers here, you can put the oils in them, so if you put, you know, eucalyptus or lavender of course they can help your mood but I do believe they help with your respiratory as well somehow don't quote me on that but pretty sure it does um <clears throat> definitely so yeah these again are just a really dark green kind of like the color of green grass actually um and they're probably a real stone so those are cool and they're just sitting here in this non ziploc bags so i should probably put a piece of tape on those anyways um yeah those are some cool earrings those are definitely worth those two pair of earrings i think are definitely worth alone the six dollars for sure cool thanks you're welcome casey lakeman no thank you for staying with my video i really do appreciate it okay here's the toys y'all ready Y'all seen these before. If you're in your 30s, I know you've seen these before, but I haven't seen them in a very long time. Ready? So, first up, we have Goofy. He's a push up, super duper thin plastic, but on the bottom, when you push him in, he falls over. So, he's like a string puppet. But when you let go of the button, he pops back up. So, what do you call that? A dud goofy? I wonder if the earnings are for people who pierce their, or the earrings are for the people who pierce their baby's ears. Yeah, I think that's what they are. Um, but in my case, I always took my earrings out, so I would be like six years still getting my, six years old still getting my ears pierced because they would get infected or whatever. Um, so yeah, that's one goofy. Um, does, does it have the year? 1977. That's an old toy. I, again, I don't know if they're worth anything. So I have one more, but I think he's kind of broke because the bottom comes out, but he still works. So, um, heck, what is his name? 
Pluto. Yep, Pluto. I was going to be really mad if I couldn't remember it. So he falls down too, and then he gets back up all by himself. Oh, that's so cute looking like her. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. Okay. Um, so this one is a wind up toy. It's from Burger King. Burger King Kids Club when they had a kids club. Does it work? I don't know, but it's, um, I don't know whose name. I'm not even going to try it. Is that Goofy too? I think it is. Goofy's dad? <laughs> I don't know. Um, let's see. Yeah, I don't think he worked because when I, he works a little bit. Yeah. Anyways, he doesn't work. Um, and then we have Rest in Peace Scooby-Doo. Does it have a year? 1996, so it's newer. And it's the one you pull back, and then he, he rolls. So that one works. But it looks like he's coming off. He's kind of loose. Like, he's going to break off. I just want to pull him off to see if he goes back on. But um, I don't think he comes off, separates from each other. So that's it. That's my haul, guys. That's what I got from the estate sale. I am going to clean this mess up, and then what time is it? we got plenty of time to do a Goodwill haul. Yeah, it's 12.17, and then I'm going to go get the stuff out of my car, and we'll do a little Goodwill haul real quick. I say real quick, but they end up being an hour, right? <clears throat> Tweety. Okay, all right. Uh, I go buy the essential. It go buy the essential oils. Yeah, for the health, definitely kickers. I love it. Sure do. Okay, we'll see y'all in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.